In case you've been living under a rock, Octorock. <laughs> oh god. I am too funny. Then there is a trick to refill your item's durability by feeding it to a rock Octorock. First, pick a suitable location to do it. Like, maybe not on a steep hill. Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. Lockheed Martin are developing some insane autonomous death machines for use in war situations. But their latest drone, demonstrated here by The Pan, is something else. The bow coblins never stood a chance. It's a meme as old as time, an infinite powered fan sailboat. But could the impossible actually be possible? V might exist is going straight to physics jail for this one. This is his fan powered sail aircraft. Fans are for the weak. Oh no, they've got my boy side in, and I like how Tulin is the only one trying to help. Time for the prestigious Build of the Day Award. This is both genius and completely unacceptable. And it could be the future of renewable energy. This cage contains Lizalfoss whose electricity is powering the turbine of the boat. And it's actually working surprisingly well. Yeah, if this happened to me, I'd probably just die too. Bard PG's on a quest to build a Beyblade, and I think he may have succeeded. He's calling this the Death Top. This thing is virtually unstoppable. Unless you have an apple. <laughs> Did the sages just combo him? Remember Cheese Puff's scorpion build? Well, one player tried to recreate the build in their game and ended up causing a weird glitch. He was thrown into some kind of first person mode, which is actually pretty neat. So if you wondered what it would be like to actually fly Cheese Puff Scorpion, here you go.
We've seen a fair few shock emitter fishing boat designs, but this one might just be my favourite. Half submerged angled sleds scoop up the electrocuted fish so they're easy to collect. The quest to find the best design for a single fan flying machine has been a long one. A lot of designs involve creating counterbalance via a rear wing. BCJ has entered the competition with his design. He's calling it the Dangler, due to the counterweight dangling beneath the vehicle. Yesterday we featured Bazaide's air car that could switch between driving and flying using a spring. Well, he's back today with a new and improved design. This one uses much lighter materials to help with lift and efficiency. The car still doesn't handle great in the air and it's pretty much limited to flying in a straight line. I'll be watching this project with great interest. POV, you blindly fire a bloom into the darkness and... Now this one gave me a chuckle. Dr. Polo is attempting to create the most inefficient glider in TOTK, and he's looking for your help. If you have any ideas that might help Dr. Polo make this more difficult to fly, please leave them in the comments below. This is the only appropriate colour for the Jäger armour. <gasps> Oricon collected enough parts to build his own dragon. Once built, he went to seek approval from his fellow beings. God, I love this game. This is version 2.0 of Spoo Diggity Stompy, and it's optimized for speed. It's giving me Black Mirror. So, with this clip in mind, I want to know how you transported the logs to Lurlin Village. I am too embarrassed to share. Hug. 
I was today years old when I learned that blue peas groom themselves, and now I'm obsessed. Thanks so much for watching guys, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.